filming in progress, San Diego edition, uh, with my co-host Isai. What's up, everyone? We're in yeah. sunny San Diego. Yeah, and we got two very special guests. We have been dying to get on this show. Let's get it. Let's get it. it. It's funny because today isn't really about film. In a way, it is, but in a way, it's not. But go ahead and introduce yourselves real quick. Yeah, we are the plant-based twins. Uh, I'm Jordan Allen, and this is my brother Jeremy Allen. Jeremy Allen. We stray from Cleveland, Ohio, but we we in San Diego right now, living the good life. Living the great Live, life. Living the great life. My bad, I'm trying to put my phone up. So the reason why this episode isn't fully about filmmaking, which it is kind of, because how we met these guys was because we were starting a, a vegan cooking show. Yes. And we started this show about, like in 2020, we filmed three episodes of it, um, and then somehow in the last like eight to nine months we've had a, a bunch of different emotions <laughs> a bunch of different surprises that kind of get us to san diego today a lot so, of surprises man <laughs> so we're gonna talk about the whole process yeah um I, I, you wanna so here this, so we're gonna start from their point of view so like get, run us through um run us through what all love no beef like how it came to you guys and like where where it started for you guys like let the, let the people know yeah ab absolutely i can take the lead on that jeremy if that's cool for sure uh it, it started with a uh a disease it started with an autoimmune disease our, our hair will fall out it's called alopecia it's an autoimmune disease so all throughout my life and jeremy's life our hair would just randomly fall out i mean like wake up third grade big patches all over my head Damn wake up sixth grade big patches all over my head and it would go away it would go away for a couple months and then come back so it was just like a, a constant wrestle of okay is this stress related is this diet related what, what is causing this yeah. and then uh it pretty much continued to progress throughout our lives and then we were like okay we like at this point I'm, i was eight i was 21 years old i'm sorry it was the day that i graduated from college and i woke up and i had a huge patch in my head and i was like no way like the day that we graduated from college, I got a patch on my head. Did you cut your hair that day? I cut it. I cut my hair the day before. Damn. So I'm talking about I had a fresh fade, Damn. fresh lineup. I'm ready to go, ready to walk the stage, ready to throw my cap in the air when, you know, when Damn. that part comes. And that morning I was like, damn, like, I really can't throw my cap in the air. I'm, I'm keeping this thing on tight. So at the, during the graduation, graduation. <laughs> <laughs> I should have wore a do-rag, bro. No, I was, I was there. He was there, I yeah. I saw when everybody tossed their caps in the air. And I'm, you know, I'm in the, on the sidelines watching everyone. And I noticed, I'm like, yo, my brother, he didn't, he didn't throw his cap in the air. Like, what's going on? And that brought a lot of emotions out of me too. Like, it made me sad to see him not being able to be a part of that as well. Yeah, hey, Jeremy, yeah. hold the mic closer to your, to your, yeah, oh. there you go. You got a little quiet. So did you guys graduate together? No, no, no. So I went to a, a school called Wittenberg University. He went to Ohio State University. Oh, okay. The okay. Ohio State. The Ohio State University. Oh, my bad, my bad. Shoot. So I don't know if he was, I, Jeremy, at that time, I don't think you were dealing with alopecia to the extent that I was dealing no. with it. And then his actually came a little later in life when we were, we had moved to San Diego. I'm still struggling with alopecia. And we're like, yo, like we're going to our doctors, dermatologists, getting steroid shots. Our, our, uh, our barber's like, oh, you're dealing with stress. You must be dealing with a lot of stress. And I'm like, dude, I'm about to pick up myself and move to San Diego. Like I'm happy as hell. Like I'm not exactly. stressing at yeah, all. There's zero stressed. stress. Yeah, so no I knew stress. it wasn't stress related. Then I moved to San Diego. Anyway, I ended up changing my diet or whatnot, right. went completely plant-based and then my hair grew back. Hell and yeah. that's what kind of led to, I was like, wait, maybe it was a fluke. Maybe it was something else that I did. And then Jeremy started to deal with alopecia and his got really, really, really bad. And then, uh, Jeremy, you want to kind of tell that story? Let me, let me hear your point of view, sir. Yeah, so my point of view, as far as all love, no beef, definitely instilled from the autoimmune disease. But I would even take it further back from growing up in the hood of Cleveland, in a food desert community where there was always beef on the block. Not like food beef, but just beef. It was a lot of malice, a lot of animosity. Gang violence. Fighting, gang violence. Oh, yeah, y'all from, from Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all from that one area. <laughs> bro, it get, it get active in Cleveland. That's it's why LeBron left, left twice. Right, right, right. That's why LeBron <laughs> left twice. <laughs> he wasn't safe, man. So he wasn't safe. And I feel like, you know, the living that all love, no beef mentality started from, from young. You know, just spreading love. I was never the kid that 
you know, I had my times where I was in a, in fights. I was in a, in some some trouble, but I realized that love was was the answer from a young age. But as far as where the whole concept came from and the whole rally cry behind all love, you no know, beef. It started from as as Jordan said, the autoimmune disease, and uh, mine really started. I was actually getting ready for church with, with my fiance at the time. Actually, she was my girlfriend, Abby, at the time. And at that moment, I'm getting ready for church. And she's like, Jeremy, the barber messed you up in the back of your head. Then I was like, word? Like, I thought never, the same thing. He never messes me up. And then she was like, no, like he definitely clipped you. Definitely and then you a up. few days later, it, my patch just kept getting bigger and bigger. And it was just spreading like wildfire. It grew fast. It yeah. grew real fast. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we got some a plane flying over us right now. Helicopter, you know. A helicopter. Hey, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust our levels a little bit just so we can get our clean audio. One second. You say what? I'm gonna adjust our levels a little bit. My levels? Nah, you're good. Oh. Uh, it might look weird right now because he's behind me and his butt's in the air, but his head's down. <laughs> so it looks like my First of blood. all, my butt is not in the air. It's like my oh, <laughs> oh, nah, not anymore. He ain't tooting it yet. Tooted and booted. <laughs> Jeremy, I mean, talking to your mic. Talk, talking to your mic. Yo, yo, can you hear me? That's better. Yep. Yeah. So you know. All right. That yeah. was. Uh, we, by the way, we don't cut either. So this oh, will, no this will this, be on the episode. Well, oh, since right. we didn't cut, let me elaborate a little bit more. So, and then in regards to where all love no beef came from. Um, Jordan and I, we were talking about the fact that the, the fact that we were able to reverse this autoimmune disease with plant-based eating, it was like, man, there's a, there's a lot of people out there that deal with autoimmune diseases. Can you hear him? Oh, I can hear him, but there's a big ass helicopter just flying <laughs> <out> over us. <laughs> I scream louder, bro. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of people out there that deal with these diseases that deal with heart conditions and stuff, especially in the brown and black communities that that don't know how to reverse it or don't know that they can reverse it with a plant-based lifestyle. So that's what motivated us. You was, we was like, yo, this is our rally cry. All love, no beef. And then we slapped it on a shirt and we just started rocking it from there. I like that. So like, yeah. what, what was, um... so let's give a little bit of context now since they slapped it on the shirt. This is kind of where, where our stories intertwine. <laughs> so, wait, 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 before you go there, before you go there, I want to, I, I want to just know a little bit more real quick. Okay. Just, just like, you know, <clears throat> what you want to know? Just like, what was your, what was your business mindset once, once you realized you felt you had a brand, had something, what was the mindset from that point? How, like, how did you guys like think to move from that point? Like, how, 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 how are we going to get this from where we have now to where we want it to be? Like, what, I can tackle that question. Um, yeah, that's a great question, Jarrell, too. That's a really good question. I would say, honestly, uh, we kind of went into it not necessarily thinking, like, how do we make dollars? How do we create a business behind this? It was like, how do we bring the truth to the people? It's like, what's the best way to bring the truth to the people to, in, a, in a massive way that's going to be disruptive? Like, and we we still figuring that out right yeah but yeah. one one avenue that we figured would be a good way is through fashion through t-shirts um through apparel because a lot of people express themselves through apparel right yep. so we were like okay yeah. let's let's put it on apparel because at least it starts a conversation like i can i can't even tell you the amount of awesome conversations i've had just from wearing a t-shirt that say all love no beef that, that's true we walk around the streets and even in san diego people will stop us yeah. and ask what is what is all of no beef yeah and they just stare at our shirts and they it's want to know more about it oh yeah God, I love that. yes yeah. so what's crazy is um there's actually a, some more we didn't tell the full truth so oh, <laughs> it dun, actually dun, dun. started by putting all of no beef on our plant-based starter guys so oh, okay. during oh, the true. pandemic i forgot about that we were sending out plant-based starter guys to people because we knew that people needed healing from food so we just sense. started adding all love no beef as a label to catch people's attention you know oh, okay. it's the double entendre it sounds good and then also at that time during the pandemic there was all the racial division going on where it's like you know trying to split people up and we were like no nah, it's all love no beef like why why do we need to have this division in the world when there's our common ground is love it's like facts, no beef facts. between people no beef in the streets and no beef on your plate right no beef on your plate. No I love that. No beef plate. in the streets. They've been making me do that all week. <laughs> I cheated a couple times. Jarrell, Jarrell couldn't do it. He, he said he could do it. 
But honestly, Craig, our camera guy, has really been holding the fort down no, for the, for really the meat eaters. Oh last night. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Craig slipped up a little bit, but he was influenced by Jarrell for sure. Craig, Craig did not eat any beef, though. Yeah. Craig yeah, you still are beef I free. Even, oh, yeah. I had bacon. Yeah, no, bacon yeah. is pork. Bacon is pork. Yeah, bro, you can just go ahead and get out. He's no, no, bacon, <laughs> yeah, pork, bacon is pork. He still has not had any cow. Had no, That's had, true. I've had no cow, actually. Free the cow, man. Free yeah. the cow. So you know what? I'm eating this chicken when I get home. <laughs> Yo, how did y'all feel when we drove past those cows yesterday? Bro, that shit felt so fucking, like, disheartening. <sighs> I was so sad, low-key, driving by those cows. Yeah, bro, I mean. It's frustrating. It's like, because you see, like, videos of little cows, and they're really like little puppies. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they're like, like, everyone loves dogs and wouldn't want to hurt a dog. But for some reason, as soon as, like, they see a cow, they just have that's that so disconnect. True, it's, it's, but they're the same thing. Literally the same animal, same feelings. Like Same feeling. Yeah. Especially after talking to Makeda. Talking to your mic a little more. Uh, especially after talking to Makeda. And um, when she told us, um, you know, you, you split a potato in half. You know, you get two. You split a goat in half. You don't get Damn. another goat. Right. Of that. Like, that. Like watching those cows like sit there just and and all they're doing is being wait wait just waiting to die waiting to die like that's all cows are used for and they know that too they know that they're they're gonna get yeah yeah. like they're born oh my god yeah the shit was nerve wracking I'm not gonna lie to y'all yeah that was Um, sad so yo um I'm I'm curious to hear y'all perspectives of all love no beef oh man we can get right into it yeah so oh man. So last year we really like me and Jarrell kind of came up with the idea of doing a vegan cooking show, and, and doing it in 2020, um, and we had talked about it for a while, and last year we were like, all right, let's just do it, bro. Let's just shoot three episodes, get the crew together, and and film the the cooking show, and I was gonna host it. Jarrell produced it. Jarrell killed it. Found a great location. Like yeah. got the crew together, the whole KC squad, and yeah, we literally produced like three or four episodes of the show. And we were getting ready to do the rollout and stuff. Um, and we were then, like, this, bro, we got. He, he, I remember when you texted, was like, bro, we, we tra- I went ahead and did it. We trademarked it. We were like, oh, shit, all right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. we, we, we noticed that, like, you, we, when, we, cause when we looked it up and saw that you guys were a thing, we just didn't know how to, like, we're like, well, why haven't they trademarked it yet? I was like, maybe. maybe well, we didn't even know. When we trademarked it, we didn't we didn't check we didn't look it up until because I looked in the trademark office to see if someone else took it because I was like, this is a great name. How has no one like thought of this yet? Right. But we right. didn't we didn't we didn't see you guys when you on Google. So like after like we got the letter from the lawyer, <laughs> then we, got we realized oh dang, fuck. like so, is somebody operating under this. Yeah, yeah. Then we realized <laughs> someone has a whole clothing brand uh, with all of no beef. So, 2020, we did the cooking show. We, we freaky we, year, man. Got sued by Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Talk but before, before you talk about how Jeremy came at y'all neck, because Jeremy came <laughs> in hot too. Them. No, Jeremy, no. Jeremy didn't came, come in hot. Jeremy came in like Goku. <laughs> We've been gone for like ten years. <laughs> <laughs> and someone said I'm the strongest here. <laughs> Bro, I, all I remember I came home to my mom's house. I was living with my mom at the time, and she's like, uh, "You got this in the mail," and it was this big like vanilla envelope. With like it was like it was like a phone book. I opened it up and it was like twenty or thirty pages stapled together from like a law firm in San Diego. Yeah. And I was like, what the heck? And it was like a cease and desist because they were like essentially saying that we stole a trademark and <laughs> that we had a <laughs> we had to give it back within like four weeks or else they were gonna pursue legal action. So like, I called Jarrell and I'm like, bro, we're getting sued right now. They're trying to <laughs> they're trying to take us to court over all of no beef. Yo. And Jarrell was like, bro, what are you talking about? I'm like, bro, literally, there's someone in San Diego that has the name, and they want to sue us over it. So I went over to Jarrell's, and we looked over it. And, like, Loki, at first, we were kind of hot. We were like, bro, what the heck? Like, yeah. we didn't do nothing wrong. Like, I was like, fuck it. We going we to going to war. No, I didn't. I wasn't even like. <laughs> hey, blame Jeremy on everything, man. Blame I wasn't Jeremy. even like, we going to go to war. But I was like, bro, we going to fight for this. We didn't do anything wrong. We going to fight for it. And then once we saw, like, your guys' story more, like, closer to, like, the actual well, even before that, I was so stubborn. I was like, we're going to fight for this, and we're not going to pay for a lawyer. We're going to do this ourselves. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> like, we're not going to spend no money but, on this. I'm talking about that. Like, Hold on a second. So <laughs> I kid you not, y'all. It's literally Monday. We Our paperwork is due the next day. Tuesday, yep. And and it, it's like I go over ease around like 430, and we don't get to really get on the shit until like 830. I don't know what the fuck we were doing. But he's like, all right, bro, we got to turn the shit in. And we're, like, looking at these words and these 
options in these menus. And I'm like, bro, do you know what any of this shit means? Me. He's like, nah, bro. I don't, I don't bro, I was so confident. I was like, bro, I'm about to go to the library, get a trademark law book, start doing my reading. Uh, we have 30 bro, days. I'm so we have serious, <laughs> I was like, we have 30 days to submit. I got this, bro. I'm going to go learn everything I can. You ain't do shit. Bro, literally 12 hours before the deadline, um, me and Jarrell, I think it's like at this point like midnight. Yeah, no it's way. Midnight. It's like midnight. We have maybe like 12 more hours before the deadline. And I'm like, bro, we have to call Dave. Dave's our, our lawyer. Shout, hey, out, shout to out to Dave. Shout out to Dave, man. Shout bro, out to Dave. Me awesome. and Jarrell were like up till like 1 a.m. just like cracking up like on the verge of tears like <laughs> bro what are we doing we're way over our head and then we're like no we got this and then we're like bro we can't do this <laughs> right, right. Right. it's like because we really still didn't have any like clue what you guys are really about right so right, all right. we know is just like dang someone wants to take this from us but they're so cool why would they want to take us from no nah, bro we gotta hold on to this as long as we can but no, what if we just like try this? No, nah, fuck that. What if we just, <laughs> like there's so much love and hate going on all at once. Right. right. That's when I, I called Dave first thing in the morning. I'm like, Dave, um, yes, we, we fucked up. Yeah, man. we. we uh, <laughs> me and E, like we started this whole all love no beef thing. Yo. Blah 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 blah. We're getting sued. We were supposed to turn some shit in today. It didn't happen. And the the first thing after I explain everything, the first thing Dave says to me is like. Why didn't y'all call me two weeks ago? <laughs> I was like, my bad, Dave. I, I, I didn't want to bug you. And sure enough, right. Dave, Dave Bro, came literally, I remember I was like, Dave, we fucked up. He's like, why didn't y'all call me? Why didn't y'all call me like a month ago? I would have helped y'all. And I'm like, Dave, I fucked up, man. I thought I could handle it. I was like, bro, I'm sorry. Like, we didn't want to bother you. And he's like, I got this. Like, just send me what you got and we'll get you taken care of. And, bro, Dave literally did it out of all love. That's awesome, bro. All love. He literally was like, and it was his idea to be like, yo, you guys should not dispute this. Just like come right. together and, and work on it. And once we met you guys on Zoom, so we met for the first time on a Zoom like court on link. A Zoom call. Wait, let me explain that a little bit. So oh. as we were setting up the initial um, Zoom meeting, I remember the lawyers sent me over an invite to the Zoom and it said Jeremy Allen versus Sinez. I was like, bro, what? This is real court. <laughs> like, we doing court through Zoom. And what, I, I don't know why, but since a kid, I've never, ever wanted to go to court. Like, I've always been like, I you never, never want to. court? I, Jordan and I, we, we did some stuff back in the day where we had to we go. We had to go to court. Oh, we had to go talk to court. court. We all been to court. We had to go talk to a magistrate before. Oh, he uh, ain't been to court. <laughs> hey, don't worry about my record. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we about got it. in some, some trouble I back when we was like to to 14 years old. Look, it, but, it ain't, we ain't hear about all that. We'll but, talk about past but, later. But that being said, once we got that, um, once they sent that over, I was like, yo, this is, this is way more real than I thought it was. Um, and then also when the lawyer told me that she was about to send them all these documents, I didn't know what any of that stuff meant. So the whole, I, <laughs> I was just like, Hey, I trust you to, to do your thing. But she was basically, she was, she got on the phone with me. She was serious. She was like, no, we're about to stop this. We're about to stop this right now. Oh They're going to feel it. And yeah. She, she was on we, some, we about to go get that ass. Bro, we felt that. He yeah. felt that. Bro, you got to understand the first time I even like heard of you guys was big font, like number 20 font jeremy allen versus east high science boom on the yeah. first letter i'm like what is going on i start wow. opening it and i'm like bro this is a full-blown lawsuit that's crazy bro yeah. what were you what kind of emotions were you feeling at that moment bro i was just like what at first because you know like once you trademark something you get a bunch of like spam mail so you oh, get like okay. they'll literally try to spam you to be like hey your trademark's running out renew it for a thousand dollars so like i'm used to getting like trademark material like mail right. and just throwing it away but this one was so thick, I was like, this must be something important. Bro, it was so thick. <laughs> and then um, when I Man. saw that, I was like, bro, are we getting sued? I was like, wait. And then once I started reading it, I was like, oh, yeah, we're definitely getting sued. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, I straight up, like, I was hyper. I'm not going to lie. I got, I went into fight mode when I, when I, like, when I fell down because I was, like, hyped and shit. I was like, bro, you remember eat, me and each show? Yeah, we're getting sued right now. But, bro, we got this shit. I feel like we got this. We're in the bag. It's, Typing everybody up. There. I, started watching, I started watching Law and Order. I was like, bro, let me take some notes. Law order. <laughs> hey, so don't was... feel like it started off with a little bit of beef. It, oh, it, it definitely it, was it, all it beef. Was, bro, was there was no beef. love in the air at that moment. It was bro. like, they want this. We can't have this. What are we about to do about this? Bro, bro? I was talking to Cloud and I was like, bro, I'm going to self represent myself on Zoom. And I was like, bro, trust me, bro, I'm going to read these law books and I'm going to be in their ass. I'm going to be like, nah. 
Right. This is what happened. Right. So, I was like, so I was like, bro, stop it. He's like, well, you don't know shit about law, bro. Like, you're going to embarrass yourself. They're going to ask you a question. You're not even going to know what, what it means. Bro, shout out to Cloud. Bro. Shout out to Cloud. Uh, and Cl- Cloud was one of the ones who was, who was always like, he was always, he, he, Cloud's definitely that business partner that, that we love because he does keep us in check. Well, he's like, what are y'all doing with all of no beef? Like, what? Like, what's the purpose? What's the mission? Like, he's always asses and asses. And then, so when it came down to, like getting sued, he's like, "See, look what you guys have got yourselves into now." <laughs> like, well, I was like, "Just give it up. up. Just, just like, give it to him." And me and Drew are like, "No, we worked too hard on this." And he's like, "Bro, right. just give it to him." And I was like, "Nah." Yeah, there was a point though where we all, me, E, Cloud, and Sue, our graphics, because uh, like that's the four like core Pangea people. Like, we all had a, like an actual phone call. And we talked about actually like giving it to you guys and just like being like, all right, you know what, let's just get re- we can always call it something else. Right. I bought like three or four different domains. Hey, Drew like, got petty, bro. Yeah. Drew, <laughs> Drew, tell him what you did, bro. bro I bought like every domain <laughs> that had to do with all of no be for anything. No way. <laughs> this man is petty, bro. Like, I bought like $80 and $100 worth of domains. I told him, bro, it's not worth it. He's like, no, nah, bro, I'm buying all this stuff. Hey, I bought like all of no beef.net. All oh, my God. No, like, <laughs> God, love, God love. Yeah. I went all out, bro. I went all out. Hey, and, uh, I'm glad to know we got it. Yeah, like, it's, it's on there. I need, uh, yeah, uh, damn. I just. Now nobody can come after us now, huh? Oh, no, bro. We got all the bases <laughs> we got secured. It all. We, we got, got it all. Now. We covered it, everything now. So, but, yeah, it, it, it got, I got a little, a little hot. But, like, like you said, once we, like, <laughs> met, each, once we met each other on Zoom. It was instantly, like. It was instant, just like, oh, my God, like. Why didn't we just do this in the first place? Like, I'm real surprised right. that one of us didn't just reach out and settle it by. Like, why, 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 well, why didn't you reach out to E? Man, so um, I didn't reach out. So I'll scared. say this. I did some research, and then I was like, okay, trademark after we our application was submitted. And I didn't even see his application when we submitted it. And then it was crazy. Like, a few months later, then I'm, I check up on the application and then it says, oh, like your application was submitted like it could have, I don't know, like X amount of days after Isai's submission. And I was like, yo, that's wild. And then I looked up his name and his information and then it popped up. And I was like, oh, yo, this dude is dope. He's like doing some cool stuff with film documentaries and stuff. And then I think I saw that you were, did you do something with Nugs? Oh, I did like a post where I just posted a picture of it. But oh, OK, yeah. I, I saw that as well. And then I was like, yo, he's already kind of like in the plant-based realm. So I was right. like, this is a dope. But to answer your question, Drill, I didn't reach out initially because I didn't want to um, confuse things. I didn't want to, I, I figured that the best way of going about it was to have the lawyers have that conversation. But I swear at, at the core of my heart, I was thinking the type of person I am, I'm so transparent and direct, I was like, I can just message him he right now. He did want to do that. He I, definitely I can, did. I can hit him up on IG right now, and we can talk about this right now. I, I thought about that like seven times. Bro, right? that would have saved you guys so much so money. Much hey, we money. in debt <laughs> now with the <laughs> lawyers. Hey, man. What about you? How, what was your like whole thought process? How could, did you? Were you on the other end like, no, nah, don't reach out to them? Were you like, no, nah, nigga, you need to text them? Honest, like, honestly, I, I knew that Jeremy wanted to reach out. I knew that Jeremy wanted to reach out. But there were other people in our corner that was telling us to not to reach out, cover your ass, make sure that this is taken care of, that is taken care of, make sure it looks like y'all, not looks like it, but show that y'all have been in this space uh, and that y'all have been uh, operating and branding all love, no beef. Right, so right, she. Right. I'm not gonna say any names, but there were people that was telling us like, "Yo, like, stay strong, and y'all gonna get this. Like, y'all, y'all was already doing this, so y'all gonna win this." But <laughs> me and Jeremy, at the same time, we like, man, we good people. We know we can connect with people easily. We know that we can that we lead by love, you know. Yeah, and we was like, we we know that we can we can resolve this. But however, that, to answer your question, there was other people in our corner that was just like. No, I know y'all good people, but all people not good people type type bro, language. Right. You, know? you know what's funny is that we had the same exact same. thing in our ear. Same wow. Exactly. And we were like, bro, we should just reach out. Like, why not? At the point when I was like, we should reach out, because we talked about it. And Jarrell was about this in the message. But well, I was he like. He had a message in the draft for you, 
bro. <laughs> Literally. Lie. But then wow. we were like, bro, like, it's a lawsuit. It's an open, like, it's an open, like, suit. So I'm like, uh, like this might co confuse things or we might, like, just mess up by saying something. So I was like, yeah. let's just wait, I guess, and, and play it out. Because at that point, we were like, bro, there's no reason to fight for this. Like, let, let's, like, just come together and work. Right. But We trying to do the same thing. Exactly. So, but it definitely was, like, people in, in our corner, even, like, friends that were like, nah, bro. You're too, you're too, uh, you probably got this too. You're too uh, kind hearted. People are going to take yes, advantage boy. of you. People, People are going to ma advantage. manipulate you. And the funniest thing is like, bro, like God was there like, nah, I'm trying to bring y'all together. A hundred percent. And y'all are just doing it the most expensive oh way. <laughs> most expensive way, man. <laughs> Sometimes you got to trust your gut, man. For real. Sometimes yeah. you really got to trust your gut. Because that, that first instinct's always, I mean, <laughs> nine times out of ten, yeah, that, that first instinct's always right. Yep. And yeah. like, that was all of our first instincts, I guarantee you, was like, why don't we just reach out to him? Why don't we just reach out to him? Was that first instinct? And sure enough, when we finally got to reach out, to, when we finally got to meet one another, it just like clicked like we've known each other for like the last two, three. Like we came up with the idea all together. Yeah. And we just like separated for a little bit. It was like, oh, all right. all right, let's come back real quick. All right. <laughs> we did this thing. You did this thing. Now let's finally mesh it together. And like that's where we are now. And that's what brings us here to sunny San Diego. Where Look at where we, we're at, real quick. Just, just take, take man, a look. I, yeah, this man, is, is good. It's a dream so, come life true, is man. So good out here. Like, it's a dream like, come true. Almost is not gonna go home. But I wish I could see Craig home. behind the camera. Craig's getting his tan on. <laughs> hey, getting his tan. I told on. you you should have brought some real. sunscreen. Craig got his shirt off over here and his underwear. Like, he got the whole food. <laughs> Straight nude beaching it though. <laughs> Full but, nude. But no, that, but that brings us here to this moment. We, me and E, we we talked for months and months. We we zoomed left and right trying to get ideas and bring things together and, and come up with ideas to, to push forward all love no beef and that brought us like out here like even though it took us like a whole extra month to get out here because we were supposed to come out last month <laughs> and then Jer Jer you can tell jeremy is definitely a planner because he would always be the one so like did y'all get y'all flights yet right right, right. Bro, so, like, in my head we, i'm like coming in <laughs> i'm like jeremy probably thinks we're like lying about all this and he's like <laughs> he's like send me the receipts <laughs> no lie i was thinking i was like man they gonna say last minute they ain't flying out here for some reason out because y'all waited so late to buy y'all flights yeah and the planner that i am i would have had my flight <laughs> a, a month ago bro me and but you, then me, i figured out that y'all live your life on the road and just kind of like ad hoc yeah it's like yeah. It, it makes sense and we also, bro, like, me and Drew are last-minute people. Like, we'll be like, we really we're are. not unorganized and we're not unprofessional, but we'll like, we'll go with the flow and just go as, like, literally Same if it's, Jordan. like, tomorrow, let's roll. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I feel like that comes from experience, too, though. Like, you can be a last-minute person because you if got you the experience to, to operate you know to work, in, the, true. in the last minute. If you know how to work under pressure, then, like, you can be a last-minute person. Yeah. And, like, like, all week, bro, we've been kind of working under pressure. We but, have hey, been working under pressure. It's been fucking Fun all Yo, it's been a blast, bro. bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, been yo. Popping, bro. We got, I mean, we got time because we gonna tell some stories, like what's been going on this week, man. Uh, but no, like to, to 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 round it all off, though. Um, we we finally have came together. Yo, one thing that I realized though is what? that y'all got a a raw ass concept with y'all TV show. With Which one? All love, all love, no beef. Oh, yeah. The cooking yeah, show and everything. I that. Like I, I didn't even realize the, I didn't realize how mature it was, um, as far as like the production and the quality, and also just the, uh, the value that Isai brings to it. It's like just like, very mature, and it's, I feel like it's gonna be life changing. You know, I, I really do. Bro, I, I a hundred percent appreciate every word you just said. Cause Dude, like, like that. Man. That he, it's really him too, because like when, like I said, when he brought me the idea, I was very like, I mean, I'm not vegan, but like, bro, like whatever you want to do, because like we've always just like vibed and mesh, and me and he have always just like understood what it takes to like get to the next, what we want to do to get to the next level, and we're on the same level, and our brains just like kind of work sim similarly, but um, but he, he he literally had this idea and i just wanted to run with it with him because i i just i just felt that he could change the world with it 100%. at the same time and like the more we talked about it the more we marked like worked on marketing ideas and like how can we brand it better who can who can we bring on to make it look better uh how do we get into different locations how do we right. partner with people 
like having those th talks with him showing me that like he wants to really like push this like you said cloud wanted us to give this up because like we really didn't know what we were doing with no. it because we all we only thought it was just a, like it literally started off like bro just let's make a youtube video yeah that's well, how it really started off was just like let's just make a youtube video cooking show i was like, all right cool and then it and blossoms then, and then it blossomed it, like that was just the seed and look where we are now bro. yeah it, it's crazy to look at it now because like Honestly, like in retrospect, all the questions we had, especially from Cloud, because Cloud was like, bro, what what does the big picture look like? Like, why are you spending so much time on this? Like, is it just for fun? Is it a hobby? Or do you really want to, like, make a brand out of it? And honestly, me and Joel were like, man, like, I don't know if you want to make a whole entire brand out of it. That's a lot of work. Like, right. having to figure out, like, all the processes, how, like, we're going to engage with the community outside of the cooking show. Because we're production people. We love creating, like, right, right. like video stuff. And y'all do it well. So when, whenever we, like, got to see what y'all were doing, like, honestly, y'all were the missing piece. Like, for us, we were like, bro, like, two people that are on the same path, same mission, like, us coming together and putting all of our brain power and just our heart together, bro, yeah. literally was, was the key. We turned the key when we met you guys, and now we're here. But it's funny because on the opposite end for us, y'all were the missing piece. We like, yo, we got, like, all of this information we want to share. We got all of these ideas. We know that both... Uh, both of us bring different like value and stuff in the space but we just like we don't have an avenue to share this with the people you know there's yeah. like no production team there's no there was no guidance or no direction you know we just like we got all these dope ass ideas uh -huh. you know I'm, I'm gonna stop you for a second real quick because I, I, I think it was in the last bit of documents we got from the lawyers or there was some content that you posted I think about like trying to get on Netflix and that's why I was like oh these niggas is about to beat us on Netflix. <laughs> I, I got so mad. <laughs> he did get mad. Bro. They're just taking our ideas. Like, and I was like, bro. We've, we've always saw this as like a, like education can be entertainment as well. So, mm -hmm. we, yeah. you know, we, we kick that. education. Like, I'm a vegan coach. I, I've actually just recently got certified to be a vegan coach. Let's go. Like, Let's go. So Clap I got that up. under my belt. So Big now dog. I can actually kick this information and not have somebody sue me. So, <laughs> so that being said, I was like, you know, it's dope to have clients and stuff like that, but like, I wanna make this bigger. Like, how can we have a, a larger outreach? And I feel like entertainment is that, a, the media, should I say, is that, it's that sure. tool and that platform that I can do that. I agree with you, man. And Jordan and I, we've been passionate about the, the education piece of it. Now I feel like, again, the missing piece is you guys, you know. That's yes, like, how do you make it? Because Jeremy and I can sit there and talk about nutrition all day and the benefits and everything. And I'll sit there and tell everybody the benefits of nutrition and everything. But that's not impacting the masses. Right. It's like, how do you impact the masses? How do you make it a part of culture? How do you make it cool? And how do you make it radical? And I, I think that we both believe that it's like, you got you to gotta, you gotta create some sort of film or documentary or podcast or whatever. How that's how you impact the masses. And the, the cool thing about it too, bro, even with this podcast, with filming in progress, like we're getting viewers commenting on our posts that look like us. You know what I'm saying? That's They're incredible. like, bro, I've never had like this resource of real like people that look like me, like from my neighborhoods doing this. That's awesome. And man. you know, like the fact that it's us doing it is also like completely different, bro, because we're not like no offense to like yoga moms or whole food people, but like we're not, we don't come from that community. We don't come At from, all. from no, that, really that culture, don't. you know? We're coming from a completely different background. And a lot of people, like, in our communities, our family don't really see this, you know? Right, right. And we're, right. we're, that, we're that bridge. You're like, you can, it's not weird to be vegan. Like, right, you know, right. it's cool. It's actually dope as hell to be it's vegan. It's dope. It's yeah. super dope. And also a lot of great things come from it, too. Yeah. Not only are you dope as a person, but I agree with you. I think a lot of people, when they hear vegan, they think of, like, the... The white girl from Oregon that eats granola <laughs> and like they think of that, you know, that shout does out yoga to the white every day. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Shout, shout out to, to all the white girls. Yeah, yeah, because y'all you know? got this started. Y'all got it popping. <laughs> so real. yeah, shout out to y'all. Hold on, hold on. Makeda, she actually kicked this game. She said this started back from, you know, our people in the ancient That's time. true. Okay, in okay. Egypt. My Egypt. bad on that. I, yeah. I would say here in America, in America maybe, America has gotten it popping recently. Yeah, it's pop culture, like it was definitely like right. The but it's like, mystery. how do we make it swaggy? How do we make it dope? How do Thanks. we make it cool? And I, we, we bring that. We definitely yeah. bring that. For real. And like, y'all, once again, like, I'm not even vegan. I guess I'm flexitarian now, is that's what they flexitarian. call it. Flexitarian. Uh, Flex your muscles. I, I could do either one. It don't bother me. Not. I, I just do. I can't wait to eat a burger. 
later. <laughs> a turkey burger. Bro. Turkey burger. No but beef. It's bigger. Tell the people it's bigger. All of no beef is a it's a oh, double entendre. Hey, yeah, that's true though, cause all, cause like that's that's the thing. Like all of, like when he told me all of no beef. That immediately like went back like you, cause like at that moment, what what just happened was that Eric Garner or uh, it was. You had something personal in your life too happen around that time. You said what? You had something personal happen around that time. Yeah, your life. I had a lot was going on with me too at the time. I I was I, I was I just got out of jail or I just. Yeah, I think I just got back from Indiana from a funeral or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. I do remember that. Yeah. That's heavy, man. Um. Yeah, um, that was hard, and there, there, there it, it was really all of, after that. I remember um, wanting to really form that that camaraderie, and and like come together and, and like find find a way to change the world truly, because like there, there's been so many times and so many ways that like I have I have not I've I've made it out of not being here anymore. And like I know you guys have probably been through that too once or twice. I don't know what your near death ex- experience is. I mean, I saw my eyes red right now. You know what? You got jumped in Oaxaca. I'll take that as one. <laughs> my man got jumped man. in Oaxaca and came out like a monster. Came out like a pit bull. Like, I speak Spanish too, mother. <laughs> <laughs> he said it in English. I don't understand why. <laughs> my man's a, my man's a monster though. I swear, y'all. I'm weak. Arr, you a tiger, bro. But anyway, <laughs> He's still standing, man. He's been through it. <laughs> My man's a tiger. I've just been straight through it. But no, o- overall <laughs> though, like I, I appreciate you guys, and I'm glad. Like all love, no beef means that we can come together to change the world because that's what I feel like my purpose in life is, mm. is to change the world. Absolutely. And like even though it's like weird to say, like being named after Superman's dad, like that still, that kind of at the end of the day feels very impactful to me because it means that like. I might hold the key to changing the, to helping change the world or some way, somehow. Facts, 100%. facts. So one person at a time. Yeah, one person at a time. So like, whatever I gotta do to get your guys' mission going, like I'm, I'm there with it. And it, it. it's gonna be the next person that wants to change the world some way, somehow, and the next person, like. Yep. Big fact. I'm, I'm with it, bro. I guess I'm a philanthropist now. A philanthropist. <laughs> Is that what you call him? A philanthropist, a good, a good-hearted person. I think Jarrell is a cooler name than philanthropist. You say what? Jarrell, Superman's dad. <laughs> I appreciate You're Jarrell, bro. You're a Jarrell, cause that. I am a Jarrell. OG. Yeah. Triple I am all your guys' son. I mean, your father's. <laughs> yeah, you are my son. <laughs> you my son. Yeah, boy. you're my mijo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Straight hey. son. All right, so, man. so, recap, 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 hey, recap. Hey, you're peeking a little bit. My, yeah, my, right yeah. here. You just loud a little bit. You know? me? Yeah, right here. Right there. Right here. <laughs> right here. Right here. Right right there. See, I had to, I got I had to get the iffy if iffy mic. And they think that it was gonna make sense because I'll remember. He oh, didn't remember. Jarrell, tell us about your uh your week eating vegan. How you feel, man? So I challenged Jarrell this week to eat all plant based and it lasted about ten minutes until he got a uh, shrimp taco. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, but like that after that, that he's he's been he's been pretty solid. And San Diego, bro, like has so many vegan options. So many vegan That's options. It's like man. every spot, where I'm just like, oh, what's this place? Like, oh, it's another vegan spot. It's like, oh, <laughs> bro, and that's like, like new this. territory because Casey has vegan options, but y'all have like fully vegan like grocery vegan stores, restaurants. restaurants, like everything, bro. Oh. I had vegan beef jerky. I never had that before in my life. Are incredible. your teeth feeling better? Yeah, they feel better. My, okay, yeah, his teeth. <laughs> teeth was about to fall yeah. out, man. I don't, I don't think I'll eat that again. That, yeah, that, soft that teeth, right? don't it made that. my soft teeth, teeth. It made them numb. It was like a, Ugh. it was a spices. Why you got soft yeah. teeth? I don't think I'm going to eat vegan beef jerky no more, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it hit. It, it had a messed up after. It, it's been, it's been good. Like, like, yeah, like you said, like I got off, I, I got off the plane. What did I, what did I get? Uh, shrimp tacos. Yeah, we got shrimp tacos at Oscar. No, no, he got shrimp tacos. We got vegan tacos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a vegan taco and a shrimp taco. Which one was better? They were both good. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disclose that information to either of you. <laughs> they were both good, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that. Oscars on on public, pu- Pacific Beach. Pacific, Pacific Beach. Pacific. Oscars on Pacific. Everybody was so friendly down there. Um, but, like, ever since then, like, you know, like, I've been I've been eating good. Oh, my God, I've been eating good. Man, like, bro, bro, beet was flame. Uh, 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 plant food plant, and wine. Plant. 
<laughs> we gotta say that for an end, for the end. Plant food and wine, but plant power. Plant power. Let me tell you, we have plant power, power twice. Head. It's a little bit on the expensive side of my taste, but I I, I fucks with it hard. Like it, it'd be my definite like two meals a week if I lived out here for sure. Big, fa- not not even that because I mean that's kind of pricey, but I would definitely have it like once or twice a month for sure. Yeah. Because plant power is fire, and it's just so convenient, you know? It, it really is. It's the future of fast food. Yeah. And where, where's y'all? Y'all, y'all went, we went to um, 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 Love Hut? Loving Hut yesterday. Hut. Banging. Yeah. Hey, man, I ate so much this food there. here, bro. I bro, went bro, all the way there at, at Loving yeah, Hut. I got the, ama- the amazing chow mein. I know Craig got it, too. I think it was the amazing chow mein smacking. Whatever kind of Craig, sauce they that, use. That chow mein? That chow. Amazing yeah. child, my bad. Amazing no man, child. just the amazing child. What'd you think about the amazing child? He loved it. I know he loved it. Tell us. Craig's a meat eater. Craig's not vegan either. I, I tell you what, that amazing chow uh, honestly just tastes like beef. It tastes like beef. It, it tastes like exactly beef. like beef. It, it, there was no difference, texture. That was probably the best meal I had all week. See, yeah. Hey, you heard even, it from even Craig. Even though man. that we had that really fancy, fancy heard. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was my favorite one all week. I, I would agree we had a, with We had a five-star restaurant. Like, we had, like, dishes. Like, we're going to talk stop, about that? Stop. We're not talking about that at all right now. We don't even hit yet. But yeah, Craig had the chow, had the chow. With, the, with the beef. Yo, it was not beef in it. It was, it was all plant-based. All plant-based. So it was still all love, no beef. It was no imitation, beef. It just tastes like beef. But no beef. It wasn't even imitation. It was just yeah. plant-based. It was plant-based. It was, plant-based. It was plant. I had the, plant. crispy chick, the spicy crispy chicken sandwich with some garlic fries. Straight fire. Straight fire. go. Yeah, Love and Hug got some got some heat. Love and Hug got some heat. I had that uh, the bar, like the barbecue uh, burger. Kind you of had an onion ring on your burger. I got right? videos of you biting into that burger yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, bro, send that to me. Too. Yeah, we'll we can we can play it in this. But yeah, that, that was so good. That was so good. The fries were fries were banging. Um, what y'all think about last night though at Rolling Roots? That Rolling seat. Roots, oh, man. Hold on a second. I didn't really get to enjoy it because I was so full. <laughs> bro, the look of that food was oh my god. Dude. It was amazing. And we have it all back at the crib? Right. And he said only put it in the omelet for like two minutes? Yep. Three minutes? He said 350. Boy. We no, we about to go back and hit that hard. For real, for real. The, the yeah. best thing about this trip, for real, is that like we've been treated so well. Like everywhere we go, they give us like their merch. They give us free food. They give us lots of hugs, lots of love. Like So many hugs. We're going into these places. It's really going to like to tell their story. And they end up just being so loving and welcoming. Incredibly like, generous. Cross, it's okay. Yeah, you can cross. No worries. Oh, it's it's sniff time. I understand. Oh yeah. Sniff, sniff, sniff. We got a little, we got no a little dog right here. A little pup. Little pup. I think a it's a pup. Puppy pup. So he's fresh. I miss my puppy. I miss my dog too. Day. You got a dog too? I got a teacup chihuahua. A what? A teacup chihuahua. Hey, 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 it's tiny. Come here. Come here. We're singing happy birthday. What's your name? Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wait, whose birthday is it's it? Her, it's her birthday. No way. She's 60 today. She's 60. Oh wow! I thought she was saying it was her dog's birthday. Okay. We're doing a podcast. Don't. Right yeah, she's saying don't you get close because you might get bite. You might get bitten. She said she turned 60. 60. Yeah. Wow. You plant based? <laughs> Some. You got a secret. <laughs> what's the secret? Let's see. What's the secret? What's the, what's the secret? Uh, let's see. Surrounding yourself with uh, great people. Love that. Um, and well, he's got to he's got to get my camera going first. You eat a lot of vegetables. <laughs> no. Oh no. God, no. Drink a lot of beer. Eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, well, it's working out for you. Yeah. Um, I, I want to get. I wanted to get the first. I'll let on. What's your name again? Okay. My name's Maggie. 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 Nice Maggie. Maggie. I'm, I'm Jarrell. Nice to meet you. I'm Jordan. I'm Isai. Hi. And I'm Jeremy. Nice Kobe. Hey, Kobe. Kobe and Maggie. Hi, Craig. And that's Craig. We're, we're doing... Woo! Yo, happy birthday. Woo! Happy birthday. Right, Yo, this that's is, incredible. So Maggie, what this is, what you stumbled upon, is a podcast called Filming in Progress. Okay. Um, where me and my buddy Isai, we're from Kansas City. Uh, we came out here to see these two guys, Jeremy and Jordan, because they're part of this brand called All Love No Beef, uh, plant-based eating brand, oh my gosh. healthy living brand, all, all brand, all, 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 all
Yes. We just love. We're just, just showing love. love. We're just showing love no matter. For you. Happy birthday. Exactly. That's why I wanted, to, like, ha- I wanted to stop you and sing happy birthday to you. Like, I would love it. Let's do so, it. One, two, two three. three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maggie. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woo! Congratulations. Congrats. You made it to Shout 60. To Kobe. Uh, yeah, so yeah, lots of surrounding yourself with people that uh, are good energy, good health, eating plant-based. Yay, ah! let's go. That's the seeker right there. That's how you look 25 when you're 60. Well, I, it's, it's, I'm, it's a work in progress, but my best friend is, is very much uh, animal activist and plant-based. Oh, very yeah. cool. So I'm working on it. I'm getting Do you walk it. the beach a lot? I do. This is my beach. I grew up here. Uh, I don't know where. Here, um, in 1971. So. Oh, wow. Woo! That's incredible. Yeah, You've been here for 50 years. <laughs> yeah. If my math is correct. Today. So thank you for having me. Of course. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, of course. Of course. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, thank thank you so much. I hope you have a great birthday. Have a great yes, birthday. have an amazing Bye, birthday, Kobe. Maggie. Bye, Bye Kobe. Kobe. Oh, he's set like we'll a see. human. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, Ed, to find you, all up, no All up, no B. We'll see you at the party tonight. Thank you. Invite us to your birthday party, Maggie. Okay. <laughs> Friday night at the Kraken. Do you guys live here? Kraken? I'll be here. Let's go. Really? There we go. My wife and I will be here. Okay. Awesome. We'll do it. <laughs> All right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Shout out to Maggie. Shout out to Maggie. Hey. I, 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 that's what that's it's awesome, all about. Bro. I just show in love, man. All about like, it all started love. by just like letting her go by. Hopefully we made her birthday special. I really hope so. I think we did. I really do hope so. Like, so like, once again, back to what I was saying, like, that's all love, no beef. That's, that's the definition of all love. No, no beef right seriously, there. though. Letting people tell their story and live out their birthday on camera and talk to the people. So I think that's very important. Not only do we talk about nutrition and stuff like that, but it's a very, very intentional focus on love. Yeah. Know? All right, so I got to know. What was your first impression of E when you saw him? <laughs> <laughs> my, in person? Yeah, yeah. My first impression of E when I saw him in person was <laughs> Hollywood um, because we were pulling up and I'm pretty sure he had his phone like this or something <laughs> like and he had his glasses <laughs> on and I was like oh was my man it, like he, he is for show sure made for the camera like, he 100% was like, he was filming in progress <laughs> he, he was going <laughs> bro I'm weak <laughs> what about you bro what was your, what was your impression of Jeremy of Jeremy yeah um Honest, only honest question. Only okay, answers. so Jeremy's so genuinely nice that I was like, bro, is he is he faking? I was like, <laughs> I was like, is, how is Jeremy? I was like, bro, Jeremy is so genuine and so like nice. and so nice. I, I was like, bro, maybe he's like faking right now. Maybe he's like trying to like do something, like get something <laughs> over on or something. But after a few conversations, I was like, bro, I love Jeremy. He's just a solid, good dude, like super genuine. And very cool, too, calm, and collected. And yeah. like very calm, very calm. Like speaks in the most like warm, like loving way. Yeah. Hey, low key though, I thought Jeremy was going to be bigger. So he's bigger? I thought he was going to be like taller and bigger. Oh, for real? Yeah. Like, I, I expected him to be. The I same don't hear Drew anymore. When I saw you, I was like, okay, this makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't hear Drew. Like, Wait a second. It's better than what I had in mind. Bro, I'm the task I'm a I'm a solid six one and a half going on six two. You know what? I'll take it. Bro, Jarrell's just a hater, bro. You, you, you I did not think you were small. I no, was surprised Jeremy when I saw how tall you were. Oh really? Oh, uh, because he saw Jeremy European first, maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he had he had a European joke. Was like, dang, my guys look like he played played in Europe. You know what's funny though is I thought the joke was because you like saw my Instagram page or no, something. No, I like. literally had no idea. I was like. It looks like you played overseas. I was like, yo, Jordan played overseas. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. yeah he, did. <laughs> he did play overseas. That is wild. And then it c- come around. It's like, yo, you was actually joking about that. I thought I thought you was dead serious no, about was- it. <laughs> You're just not quite tall enough to be an NBA player. <laughs> uh, man, <laughs> I, that's why I said, bro, I wish I had four more inches and I'd be in the league. Bro, man. you could have been in the league. What position you play? I play forward. You play what? Forward. Small forward, forward power forward. Yeah, I play uh, small right forward, right but I uh, 
I, I want it to. Can't hear me? I can barely hear you. Oh, for real? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, so I talk like this. All right, Jarrell is back. I'm going to try to fix your mic. Keep going. Keep, keep Yo, I'm going to let y'all know my, my first uh, my first reactions or thoughts when I first saw Jarrell and E. And when I first saw Jeremy for the first time yeah. after not seeing him for a long time. Wait, how long has it been since you seen Jeremy? The last time I saw Jeremy was uh, when he got married. So it, oh. it, had, it had been a minute, yeah. And when I first saw him, I was like, man, this dude looked like a married man. Like, he yeah, just looked lit look, up. You do look like a married you man. You look married as hell, bro. I don't know what it is about I you, like but I think anybody could see you and be like, he married. <laughs> like, you just look married. But I saw Jarrell, and my first thought was like, Damn, this dude tall. Like, I just didn't think that you was gonna be this tall, bro. I don't know. I don't bro, know I get that a lot too. They're like, bro, Isai is way taller than I really. That's, like, that was my first thought too. Yeah, Psych. that was not my thought, bro. <laughs> no, honestly, when I saw Isai, I was like, yo, this dude be hitting the weights. Like, he actually like got some. Got, he got a big back. I always tell Jeremy he got a big back. <laughs> like bro, big I back lost germ. All of that. So weak. How much time do we got? We that could die at any moment. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we can share mics, bro. It's blinking. No, I mean like the recorder could die at any moment. Oh, batteries. got you. Uh, maybe. Greg, but. we got extra batteries. Recorder. Hey, it is twelve thirty though. Yeah, we should uh, probably wrap it we up. Gotta we gotta wrap it up. We should wrap Yo, it. this has been incredible. This is. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Man, I hope we got enough time to talk about. All right, we gotta talk about plant food and wine. Plant food and hey, wine. Share, share, Michael with Drill, because this is dying. All right, all right, all right. Plant food and wine was absolutely crazy. They definitely hooked I it up. Put it where it, it's weird where I got to put it. I'm sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, plant food and wine was crazy. Plant food and wine was absolutely crazy. Amazing. Um, Let's give them a – people aren't going to know what it is. Let's give them a breakdown of what – yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Jeremy, it's a restaurant in Venice. Plant food and wine is a four-star or five-star plant-based raw – not all raw, but – Everything is sourced from the garden. It's a restaurant in Venice Beach, California. And, man, they have a bunch of actors that come through there. They have a bunch of just high-class people. Emma Watson. Tommy Emma Watson. Lee was there while we were, while we were there. there. Tommy while Lee. While we were pigging out in the next room, in the wine room. Yeah. Man, it's crazy. I saw Rick Ross. Like, just you did not see Rick Ross. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Rick Ross. Uh, Drake, Drake pulled up Drake pulled in up. the Hellcat. Like, yeah. I, I uh, saw it. Rick dropped off Rick Ross. I saw Flavor Flav. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With a big clock? Yeah. No, he didn't have the clock on. I think someone took it. <laughs> Bro, first off, this restaurant was, A, they had amazing food, yep. incredible food, but also amazing service. Like, really, really, a really good staff. But also, 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 this is the biggest thing. They shit was expensive as hell. Like, incredibly expensive. Wait, Jero, I think I think you should walk, walk him through the story as far as, the, the food and... Man, yeah. So, hold on. Give them context. So, we were there shooting a video. We were interviewing their, their chef de cuisine, right? Chef de cuisine. Chef de cuisine. We were interviewing the chef de cuisine in their wine room. He's a 19-year-old. He just turned 20, actually. A sh world-renowned chef. He's known for literally his vegan dishes. Like, this is top of the shelf, like, maximum, like, Bro, premium, it's, it's, like, it's quality. Amazing. So, we, we were shooting some content, and um, they offered four plates for us to eat. To show on video and I guess try, uh, and then y'all were upstairs on the balcony. The rest yeah. of the crew, me, Jeremy, Abby, and Richard, and Richard were on the balcony. We four. had two of the best spots. Like I made sure to produce the shit out of that. Got in was like at first it was like oh we want to do it up here, and then we was like doing it over in the picnic that picnic table area in the back. And yep. I was like no let's do it in this wine room. Plus we yep. need power, my dude. <laughs> and so we got in the wine room. We had the balcony. Everything was beautiful, bro. Yep. Beautiful. And me, Jeremy, Abby, and Richard order. Well, me, Jeremy, and Abby order. Shout out to Richard, financial advisor. Um, <laughs> and he calls me up. He's like, hey, bro, we're done. You want, you want to come eat this food? And I was like, what are you talking about? We got food up here. He's like, wait, what? So we all make our way down there. The waiter, by the way, was dope. He helped me carry my food and my drinks down there. Dude was on it. Um, we get down there, we see like four plates in the middle. I guess Jeremy had told him to like what to prepare for like the thing and he talked about it and all that. So um, I bring in like two of my plates, 
y'all bring in two of your two or three of your plates. Bro, so my, that my thought process is like, why the hell did y'all order food? <laughs> this is gonna be just a hundred dollars just off what y'all ordered. Right, right, so right. I was already like, bro, like, wh why would y'all do that, bro? So when I saw uh, y'all come in with ten more plates after the four plates on our table, I was like, came in with four crap. four more plates pretty much. So now there's eight plates on the table, and we all just like you know eat. We we set the camera up. We figure it out. We just dig. We all set up and we dig in. We start feasting. We start feasting, and, and it's good. It's great. We had like Brussels sprouts, uh, macaroni. We had, uh, we had a pasta, uh, raw like, lasagna, raw lasagna, cucumber, Olive like pasta. Yeah. Oh, charcoal pasta. Charcoal, charcoal pasta. pasta. We had yeah, dumplings a, made from cilantro leaves. Bro, wow. that shit was bro, wild. that was lame. Crazy. Squ the, squash. the most extra bro, the, the like top of the shelf type stuff. The was, chocolate brownie stuff was whoa. good. The, yeah, the ice, the ice cream, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they make so they have an ice cream that they make out of frozen bananas, and then they put it on like on top of a pastry, like a thin pastry that was made from like dates and some sort of like, like a graham bro, cracker, so graham cracker or something like dates and graham cracker. But the, and then they cover it, they covered the banana ice cream in powdered sugar. Bro, bro. it was it was it was kind of flame. Well, okay, but but we 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 get to the point where. After we finish eating, or we're getting, we're winding down from eating. She walks. Talia walks in. Shout out to Talia. Man, she hooked it she up. She hooked it up. Wait, Much love to Talia. This entire process, we like shaking in our boots. Hold on, like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get. Oh, hold on, hold on. Well, wait. At first, we asked the question on how we paying for this, and we all just thought about it for a second. We weren't shaking yet. It was when she came in and was like, "Oh, have you guys thought about this or thought about that?" And we were like, yeah, yeah. So we started ordering way more stuff. Way more. At that point, we were just like, yo, we might have to go back and do the dishes at this point to make this all work out. We started ordering drinks. She offered desserts. And, like, she was being so kind and, like, just so hospitable. So we were hospitable. like, we didn't really think, like, oh, like, we might have to pay for this. So we, we had were, no idea at the time, We were like, bro. run it up. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's get that. Let's get this. When they came back in with, like, probably 10 or 12 plates bro it felt like a movie where they bring you plate after plate of just a line of waiters coming in and out desserts two three plate entrees appetizers bro it was crazy Drinks. everything was healthy clean plant-based food though everything was healthy and clean um and it was great it was so good so happy birthday, good maggie. happy birthday again maggie. Birthday, maggie um but we Oh man. Okay, so this is when we get to the point where I'm like, "Hey, y'all. So how are we really paying for this? Because we never really had the discussion with Talia or the or the chef that like you know we're we're like we expect this or right you know like you know we we're want to we're not, to yeah we're not expecting to pay for this yeah um so we we all sat there in fear for a moment. I'm next to Abby. And then Craig's next to me, then it's Jeremy, then E, then I think Jordan was on the end or something, vice versa like that. But I just remember, like, looking at Jeremy's face. Because <laughs> I was like, hey, y'all, if, if I have to, like, I'll put 200 on it. And Jeremy's like, you know, he, he started to realize that, like, he might have to put money on it, too. And Jordan's like, nah, bro, don't worry about that. We ain't got to get, we ain't got to have to do this. He's like, Jarrell, don't let him front you, bro. <laughs> I got hey, this. We he's got, like, we'll we accept your 200. You. I was like, no, Jarrell said he put 200. Keep the 200 there. We got the 200. Hey. We need that 200. <laughs> but no, I just started. Man, I prayed like 10 times. Yeah, my man was like, praying had, hard bro. for we, us, we bro. To, I was like, God, come on, come through, come through. Because it, this Jer could easily be two raps. Jeremy is the definition of walk by faith. Like, I was like, it's a rap. We just took this L, but we're going to ball out on purpose. Like, it was an accident, but, hey, I'm going to just – I'm going to say I did it on purpose and just ball out one time. Like, I'm going to say I did it on purpose. It was the most out. baller shit I've ever done, and I was like, oh, well. But Jeremy's next to me like, Father God, please don't let us have to pay for this. We love you, God. And I'm just like <laughs> – we, we blessed I, the I food. I repented for my sins. I did it all. We blessed the food tons of times, bro. We just – every time we just kept eating a new plate, we would bless the food again. Thank you, Lord. Uh thankful yeah. for like oh. it was oh my bad i keep forgetting i need a mic huh we went around the table talking about what we was thankful for this dude jeremy said about six prayers i think richard led us in prayer yep we, we gave away hella stuff <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> Bro, we, we were using our all of no beef shirts like like uh, uh like little like a 
like right. a currency. Right up, it really here. was like a currency. Does this cover six of these plates? Yeah. <laughs> How, you need an extra large? Hey, go to the car, get extra large. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we, so we like, after, after we all have like the initial fits, because more food came out, by the way. Need I remind you, after we had that fit, more food came out on top of that. So we're okay. sitting at like maybe 25, 27 plates on the, after all at everything. Least, at least, at least 25, at 30 least plates. 25, 30 plates on the table. And wine, um, call, like they got, they got euphoric drinks. Like, I don't <laughs> know what they were on, but yeah. non-alcoholic drinks. But, um, I, I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna go talk to her. And then they decided they talked me out of going to talk to her, which I was like, all right, I won't go talk to her. But then like the urge of me came up and was like, I need to get like, go take a piss. But really, I need to go find her and talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> the producer and me had like had no choice but to find her and talk to her. So like I go actually take a piss and I see her and the waiter talking and I see them running the ticket because the long ticket spurred out. And I was like, well, that has to be ours because we're the only ones in here ordering like we're, like we're Jay-Z. Like and, and so easily, bro. Easily. And, and Craig knew he wasn't paying for nothing, so my boy was having a good time. And Craig was like, where are we going and, after this? <laughs> where are we and going Richard, after this? Richard wasn't touching no food. Richard, <laughs> Richard I, I was not eating. <laughs> Richard was in the corner just watching us like, man, what are y'all <laughs> thinking? <laughs> He's like, y'all y'all really thought y'all can get all this food for free. I'm trying to run He's this like, company into the ground. I'm going to go help y'all get a loan. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, we was about to have to, like, all of them, no beef, represents the kitchen staff, the union. <laughs> right. We was going to have to just go, yeah. it, it did. It didn't matter. Um, we were about to sell the trademark to pay for this dinner. <laughs> yeah, bro. We was about to have to give up the whole tra whole thing. All but, of no beef dishes edition. But sure <laughs> enough, like, I, I see her walk out, and so I follow her. And um, she sees me like last minute before she opens the door, and we um, we <laughs> got there. Uh, she we sit there. She's talking to Jeremy or something. Then Abby's like, "Hey, so like, how do we tip?" And she's like, "Oh, you guys need to sleep cash or something like that." But like, everything's been comped and paid for. And bro, like everybody, you saw the look like, in everybody's eyes that we were just like. How great is our God? <laughs> we started praising God at that point. Bro, we started singing, bro. It's a no, no, no. It's a suck. Well, yeah, we was on a whole new level, yo, bro. Another moment of God just straight showing out, though. For like, real. just showing how great he is. Yeah. Bro, we, we were truly blessed in that moment. Um, and that's that's pretty much like, like the whole, to wrap this up,